558 Dental Family. I'm Dr. Kyle Griffith and I wanted to take the time to talk about infection control, what we do to keep you healthy when you're here at the dental office, um, that honestly goes overlooked day in and day out. And I wanted to start with congratulating my team because they shoulder the responsibility of keeping everything clean, doing what's right, and making sure that uh, we have processes in place that keep you healthy. So we'll go through the office today and look at some of those things, things that you could see in your uh, dental office that makes you know, hey, these folks are taking care of me and have my best interests at heart. So we're going to go through the office, hang with me, we'll look at a couple of things and talk about them. All right. I just need to reiterate, we're going over some of the basics here, okay? We've got to set that foundation. One of the things that you should see happening in your dental office is your providers using an alcohol-based hand sanitizer or washing their hands. Hand sanitizer is my favorite. It does a really great job of killing off bacteria. You will see me doing this in front of you as a patient. You'll see clean hands. All members of a treating team, the dentist, the dental assistant, the hygienist, they should be wearing eyewear. Okay? Next. Mask. Your dental provider should be wearing a mask when they are seeing you. And then, lastly, gloves. Here's some behind the scene things that we do to keep 58 Dental healthy, clean for our patients. A lot of this um, patients aren't even aware of. And so we can kind of pull back the curtain and show all the different ways that we're keeping you healthy. So the first thing is, is that the water that we want to use in your mouth or during procedures is as clean as it possibly can get. One of the ways we do that is by using these little filtration systems in the water units that we use. These Steri straws keep everything uh, really, really clean, keep the water clean that we're using in our patient's mouths. When we're doing any sort of surgery, we use sterile water. Water can't get any cleaner than this sterile water. Prior to a surgery, we have our patients rinse with an antibacterial mouth rinse. That cleans the area even further. A couple more things. Oftentimes these are overlooked. Surfaces that are touched frequently, like the handles on the overhead light or the instrumentation, like the high volume suction or uh, the low volume suction, those should have barriers across them. You should see these plastic coverings or a tape over highly touched surfaces. So when you leave your dental appointment, everything has to be cleaned up. And another important component to infection control, keeping you healthy, is the cleaning materials that we use once we're done with the dental procedure and the dental patient leaves the office. Now you're probably not going to see these things very often, but as a patient you might see them sitting out on the counter or maybe on a shelf somewhere. These cleaning materials, now this isn't a commercial for Opticide, but these cleaning materials will take the chrome off a bumper. Uh, they will kill tuberculosis, which is one of the hardest uh, diseases to kill. And I just want you to know that we're not using Windex around here. And unfortunately, Opticide does not leave a streak free shine. So really, this is one of the unsung heroes of infection control in medicine. It's the sterilizer. These babies are like a dishwasher on steroids. They clean the instruments under intense heat and pressure and make sure that everything's sterile when it comes out the other side. Now, these units are tracked incredibly closely tested all the time and we're constantly making sure that yes this thing is functioning appropriately and effective and we know it to be true. 
If you'd like more information on this, please don't hesitate to contact us. Uh, we're doing everything in our power to keep you safe, healthy, happy, and get the wonderful dental results that you're looking for. All right, thanks so much. We'll talk to you soon. Be well.